We as humans always talk about evolution but fall short of noticing it when we are right in the middle of it. Just like anything else, languages evolve too. Over the years, poets and great literature enthusiasts have tried to make evolution happen. But it is now happening at the hands of young adults. Needless to say, today's generation finds easier and simpler ways to perform a task as compared to the older generations. As the whole world revolves around technology, let's talk about its base, the programming languages. Be it any technology, there is a programming language behind it. From the very first idea of it to its implementation to today's programming languages, it has come a long way. Every year, new and improved programming languages are introduced to the list, which only serves to increase confusion. Here is our ranking of the top 5 new programming languages after considering career perspectives, future expectations, company requirements, and features of various programming languages. Number 1 in the list is F Sharp. A cross platform open source language called F Sharp occupies a more mixed position between functional and general languages. F Sharp is perceived by many programmers as having the same level of simplicity as Python and providing a more fluid user experience than C Sharp and Java. This might be because developers don't have to bother about explicitly defining their object type because the language eliminates the clutter of semicolons, curly brackets, and other symbols. Working in F-Sharp makes it simpler to complete tasks like processing lists and applying complex type definitions. F-Sharp is adaptable to a variety of formats, including databases, websites, and .NET entities, thanks to its hybrid nature. Designers can rely on the programming language's robust type system to ferry out typical mistakes regardless of the parts they are working with. These elements all add to F-Sharp's convenience and flexibility, which is why it is still a well-liked programming language. Now let's take a look at a few key learnings from this. So first one, other styles are supported by hybrid nature and then we have unneeded symbols are removed in simple designs and the type system finds common mistakes. Next up, we have Clojure. As a general purpose language with concurrency in mind, Clojure supports several computations running concurrently. However, Clojure has a little syntax because it is also a Lisp language. These components enable a development environment where programmers may easily maintain code while extending earlier projects to include modifications as necessary. This programming language works well with any JVM related system because it was created for the Java Virtual Machine. Therefore, it is not surprising that numerous businesses including Adobe, Apple and Netflix have used Clojure in their technology stacks. The key learning from this is Clojure supports many computations at once, it has a simple syntax and combines well with JVM and other JVM related programs. Next up we have Alexis. According to professionals, a small segment of the Ruby community went down the Erlang rabbit hole and emerged with Alexis. However, thanks to its use of functional programming ideas found in languages like Haskell, Alexis is simpler to write than Erlang. The Erlang virtual computer, which is ideal for distributed systems with minimal latency, runs Alexis. The platform places a high priority on fault tolerance and scalability. Processor or events that are lightweight exchange messages with one another. These operations can operate simultaneously, utilizing machine resources and facilitating vertical or horizontal scaling. The platform displays to the developer the last known state that is guaranteed to function if something goes wrong. The key learnings from this? Elixir is Erlang Virtual Machine compatible and it has concurrent processes that are supported by lightweight threads. Last but not the least, Elixir has easy scaling both vertically and horizontally. Next up, we have Swift. Although not an unconventional language, but it has its own pros and cons. Apple created Swift, a general purpose compiled programming language that enables programmers to create applications for phones, servers, desktops, and virtually anything that runs on code. Swift was created to replace Apple's prior programming language that is called Objective-C, and it incorporates concepts from Rust, Ruby, Python, and Objective-C to help minimize common programming errors. The language's updated syntax and strong type inference allow for the concise expression of concepts in code. The key learnings are Swift enables applications for PCs, mobile devices, and other devices. Swift is Apple's successor to Objective-C and it has features, updated syntax, and type interference. Last but not least, we have Go. Engineering managers at Google developed the C-inspired language known as Go. Go has advantages and disadvantages. It has 
It is more tight safe than Ruby or Python and is leaner than C++ or Java. The limitations of typing are numerous. Integer sizes or signed or unsigned numbers cannot be mixed. There are some notable absences in Go as well. Both generics and inheritance do not exist. So if the idea of parentheses being replaced with curly brackets makes your blood boy, leave right away. However, Go has certain distinct advantages due to its simplicity. The language is simple to use specifically because inheritance is not used, developers can avoid creating complex webs of dependency. Because there is less lurking behind the written code, Go appears to place a premium on strict definitions and thread safety. So the key learnings from this? Go has strict syntax and type, it has navigation which is simpler without inheritance and it puts thread safety first. Now to conclude this session, there is no denying that software development is a popular vocation at the moment. Programming employment is expected to rise by 21% between 2018 to 2028, which is more than four times the average for all the occupations. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, a software programmer's median yearly salary is roughly $100,000, which is nearly three times the median salary for all the US workers. However, not all programming jobs are created equal. Different programming languages are needed for various jobs, businesses, and types of software. And it's frequently advantageous to know more than just one programming language, particularly for individuals without any programming knowledge. Trying to enter into the world of software programming might be intimidating. That's all for this session. Let us know in the comment section below what all other unconventional programming languages that you know of.